I'm sorry, guys. I I got an electric nugget. You, all you purveyors of petrol, dispensers of diesel. I think some of you are still using kerosene. I I've let you down. I've let you all down. Number one. Like, why? I mean, who needs more car than Tony? Whose current job is holding that fan? You're doing a bang up job, mate. Well, time to bore you with philosophy. Well, there's an annoying human trait. For better or worse, we just get used to stuff. Mate, by the third moon mission, no one cared anymore. Everyone was bored. Like, people actually rang the, like, the TV stations and say, don't you dare put that space crap on. Don't, don't take away Wheel of Fortune. And then the spaceship exploded, and then everyone was interested again. What I'm trying to get at is, if you only ever drive really fun, crazy cars, then fun and crazy cars are normal. And once that becomes normal, then it's boring again. So I was genuinely in the market for just a regular stinking car. One that I drive nine to five during the week and then Friday night, I take home one of the fun nuggets. I was tempted to get like a hybrid Corolla or something, not even a new one, I used one. But then I remembered something. I've invested in solar power and batteries. Electricity is a fuel of some kind. This is where I park it during the day. During the days when the sun is out, I think I could drive an electric car for free. I found this Nissan Leaf, the most mammy, soft looking mum's car I've ever owned. I look like such a functioning member of society in this. How dare this car do that to me? For a boring do whatever hatchback, I actually like how it looks. Oh man, it's curvy too. Whoa, that's, a, that's a curvy bum when that is, man. This guy is JDM. This was actually brought in from Japan because apparently these are fleet vehicles over there, so they got heaps of them. These are made in Japan, and there are people who specialize in dragging these into this country, getting rego on them and sending them. I got this for like less than a third of the price for a new one. This is a 2017 Nissan Leaf, which is neat because this is the last of this original body shape. EVs have existed forever. You know, GM had an EV, but the Leaf was basically like the first consumer orientated one where it wasn't a hyper sports car. It wasn't limited run, proper big manufacturer support behind it. I actually do have another electric car. It's the E-Nug. It's, it's this Subaru Sherpa that's been legally converted. It's road registrable, everything, like all that's no worries. Except um, I basically got ripped off on Facebook Marketplace because all the batteries are cooked and you know. And that's the cost of electric cars is the batteries, right? So like my battery packs over there, mate, right? That's 16 kilowatts. This small idiot, which is not a big capacity electric car, especially compared to new ones, this is 30, 30 kilowatts, right? It's double what my warehouse has. The range on this guy is like 100 miles, 160 kilometers, that's it. But I don't drive more than that in a single day. I totally, it makes sense to me. This is just a giant mobile phone. You plug it in every night. Did you use all the battery? No, well, but you plug it in every night. Uh, look, it literally just comes with just basically like a giant laptop charger. It's great. Well, I mean, while we're talking about charging, it's awesome having the very last one of these because it's got the slow charge port, which is what that is, and the mega fast one because you can charge this to 80% in like 10 something minutes, which is insane. I totally appreciate how crazy that actually is. Uh, the regular plug, you know, it's gonna take like 10 something hours. But I mean, that's, that's not because the car's like wussy or something. That's because your outlets in your house can't supply anymore. It's better to charge them slower anyway. It's way healthy for the batteries. And since I'm just sipping from my solar panels, I like the slow charge. It's sitting here all day anyway. Check out the crazy lights. Like they're really bulbous and sticking up. And that's so the wind doesn't make the, the mirrors whistle because holy heck, this is so quiet. Like I've got an old Mercedes. It's got nothing on this. This is the most refined, quiet thing I've ever driven. The interior is very, very 2012. It, it really has not changed. See what I mean? It's just Japanese delivered. Stop beeping. The lightest power steering I've ever felt. It is genuinely pinky finger. It, it's insane. I've never had it so light. This boot is huge. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, aircon blows crazy cold and hot, you know, whatever you want. Cup holders everywhere. So before we take for a quick spin, what is the performance like? Holy heck, I thought this was gonna be a slow idiot nugget to make all my other cars more fun. 
but no way, man. This thing is ballsy. Like zero to hundred is like 10 seconds, which isn't amazing. But where this thing absolutely pounds is like rolling acceleration, like 30 kilometers an hour up to 60 or 70. You stomp it and it just goes, boom instantly. No, I thought this was going to be incredibly slow because it's got like tiny batteries, small range. It's a little mum's car, right? No way. I'm like toe to toe with like five liter Mustangs. If they're not paying attention, the leaf is just going da, 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 da. And like sleepers are fun, right? Just being like incognito. And they're like around small side streets and roundabouts and this huge torque, just instant. There's no downshift. Boom, it goes. I'm terrorizing small streets, right? I'm just like, the torque steer's ripping the steering wheel out of my hands. That actually happens. Wheel spin is an issue. It's like, but you know what people hear? It's on these eco tires. The engine just goes, no one's even looking at me. And if anyone looked up, they'd just see someone's mum driving past. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. It is so much fun. But mate, we need the opinion of someone who's never driven an electric car before. Right? So, you, you know who's going to have a sit in a drive, mate. James, you have never driven an EV, have you? I've never. This is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you have the Nissan Egg. All you need is possession of the Nissan Egg. There it is. There's yeah. no, that's the key. That's there. Yeah, now you put your foot on the brake. Yes, I have my foot on the brake. Yeah, now you press the, the button. The light went off. Why did that go off? That's oh, it. Yeah. It makes fun music, which I picked. You have choices. That is cool. Yep, and then you've you've got the orb of motion here. Uh -huh. And then, so forwards is down. Did, did that, oh, the handbrake. Hand oh, sorry. Uh, Where there's, is the handbrake? There's hand a foot handbrake. Oh. It's like a Mercedes. There we go. You got it. So there's just Phantom Menace playing right now. So, you know, hang on. We're just, let's just take it out. That's good. <laughs> Works well. <laughs> and you just whisper and it just goes. Ooh. Oh, my wheel spin. <laughs> yeah, that's See what I mean? So good. We're straight up to like yeah. 60k's an hour. Very talky. <laughs> Actually, yeah, stomp on it. <laughs> it's not really coming through on the video, but it's like the torque is nuts. Oh, stop banging up my leaf. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy. The aircon's good too. <laughs> like, the controls, look, it's like. Actual switches. Yep. I like it. Well, I've got old Mercedes and things, and they're not this refined. No, this like, is really good. I like it. Yeah, and they're like, and we're petrol heads. We nuggets here for funsies. Oh, yeah, we, we, we would drive to work in our nuggets, but I didn't know that this was going to be this good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Used EVs are finally a thing. James just mentioned how good the turning circle is. It's amazing because yeah. there's there's nothing on the wheels. They can turn as far as they want. Ready? One, two, just do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, that's... for a cheap little mammy box <laughs> that's electric, that's running on solar and not even like a big range battery <laughs> with two fully grown men in it, that's pretty funny. It's Considering pretty I bought this for it to be boring and for me just have something fun to use on weekends in a boring car, this is way too much fun. We gotta, we gotta try and get more power out of it. I reckon. Uh, yeah. Oh, damn! <laughs> I'm, I'm just as surprised as I hoped I would be. It's this is the wussy mummy box car. Yeah. It's not a Tesla. It's not a performance EV. And it's great. And I, it's. Oh no. My cheeks hurt from smiling. I, I know. Mate, we can't end a video like that without getting her on the hoist, mate. We gotta see what's underneath this thing. And you can hear the aircon running in here. It's like the only noises it makes from the outside. There you go. That's under the bonnet. Hey, is that coolant? I think it does have like proper coolant. Huh, not that interesting. Turn it up. It's like talk about a washboard stomach. It's just flat. Where's it, the exhaust pipe? High voltage inside. Mm, so this is batteries in here. Yeah, it's all on the floor. Yeah. This is all just plastic covers. But I mean, I guess aerodynamics would be really yeah. good for it all yeah. to be like this. It feels like a four cylinder car with an electric motor in it. Pretty much is. Yeah, it's like, that's how they got the price down. Is that, yeah, it's got CVs. It's really simple. Actually, because it's front wheel drive CV, how do they get the turning circle so good? That's true. Well, that's magic. Every front wheel drive that I've got just kind of plows through corners. Oh, dude, you're ruining my leaf. <laughs> <laughs> the rolling acceleration is epic. <laughs> it's so good. It's really good. And that's the end of the video. So, you know, get a dog up your...